Yo, this is the time to play Xeno Gears. We're back in this cave again because we just had some little fun with Ellie and her Gabler crew. Ellie tried to go crazy on us, but we stopped her before she went too far. And then she basically allowed us to go forward. We're now basically near the border to Kislev. We're gonna wreak some havoc against more of the bad bad guys. All these annoying enemies to fight, you don't need to worry about them. Make sure you have a response scare on though, because it's so powerful they were. How much damage they avoided from those, uh, from those battles. Can we escape, please? Come on! How oh, bad luck do we can get? There we go. Oh, come on, why does random go? Oh, it's repaired here. Don't need to fight him though. Almost there. And there we go. Of course, random battle. We're gonna repair this though, that's nice. Don't need even more though. Now we're just supposed to go up. Oh, there we go. Looks like the mountain peak is right above here. And then we switch back to the Yggdrasil. Old Mason is back at Yggdrasil. Cleans up and loses the glass. The young master's cup. Is something bad going to happen to him? Uh oh. Old Mason can see bad omens from far away. Oh, that's just me. Sig and I will take the two men and head toward the top floor. Titan, you take the two remaining men and open the castle gate to let in our main force. If we can catch Shere Khan, we are sure to succeed. Right. When you capture Shere Khan, give the signal. It is probably best to open the gate at that time. Above us is the castle Bailey. The key must fall quickly. Shere Khan should be on the top floor. In the room that used to be used by the young master's father. Try to damage the castle, avoid all necessary combat, and above all, remember, speed. That's why there are so few of us. Our objective is Shere Khan, so ignore the Gelder and Avi soldiers. Alright, let's move on out. So, you just basically move up the ladder here, and then you'll be up for a surprise. Get up. Well, take a look. Let's go. Huh? There's Shakan and Miang. You say there's a trail of finding you, Shakan. Now get ready. We've been expecting you. What? Full of Avi soldiers, the whole surrounding the castle bailey. Uh oh. Crap. An ambush. Uh oh. Where's Car? I see you're quick to catch on. Perhaps I should be taking care of all of your divided forces out by the sun border as we speak. Perhaps it's easier to sow through your plan to use a faint attack by Kislev long ago. Don't underestimate us. Huga. Have you lived down here so long that your mind has slipped? And Sigurd, whom you thought you would have joined the last survivors of the royal dynasty? Damn it. Why are you still stacking Shakan? What does it matter to you who the king is? Ha! Huh. Is you just the son of murder king Fatima? He refused to cooperate. You mean to say that now he wants to be our puppet all of a sudden? Then I don't believe even coming from the mouth of a tree like you. Ha ha ha! Besides, stupidity in puppets has its advantages. Is this stupidity? Yeah, what is that supposed to mean? Minister Shakan, let you handle this. You must protect your own position. We don't care who's sitting on the throne. An obedient sheep will be fine. However, there is something that you still have to do. 
If you will only do that, then we will help you as much as possible. Yes, you don't have to tell me. One must take care of one's own country's criminals personally. Then, with your permission, I shall take my leave. Hey, now, wait a minute! Goodbye, boys. You pirate. No, you're just a sand You cost me enough shame. But this is the end. You didn't know your place, and now all it awaits you is annihilation. Prepare to fire! What? Ah, it's that gear again! Remember that? From the forest? It's old Mason! That gear has a artillery. You wretched rebel, Shakan! Make one move, and this Gatling gun shall be spitting fire. Old Mason! Reinforcements have arrived, young master. Please come aboard. Holy crap. Shall we depart? See ya, you bald geezer. We'll be saying this later. So then go get your head waxed. And then... This... This is not good. Oh, it's malfunctioning. Oh, the propeller went away. Oops. <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? Hmm. It seems sandworms can fly after all. Just surrender. Thanks for the laughs. I almost had to have Tate to shoot you. Crap. I guess you're gonna get mauled. Everyone, please get down. Do you have a plan, Mason? Leave it to me. Oh, this gear apparently still can move around. Mason is walking in circles. Just leave it to me. And the gear managed to jump off the castle. Shakan is shocked. So yeah, the uh, re-taking of the castle did not go as planned, should we say like that. But at least the crew managed to escape in without dying. Thanks for saving us, old Mason. Please raise your head. My duty is to protect young master. I'm sorry it took me so long to help you. I feel bad you had to get involved. I appreciate it. But I had no idea you could operate such a thing. It's a trick I picked up long ago. It's nothing special. I'm not ex expert on it. I'm actually a bit embarrassed about it. Young master, the Royal Capital's armies are returning. We were the ones who took the bait. We must escape before we get caught. Head for a bridge as soon as you're through with your preparations. So yeah, that plan didn't go well. Now we have to escape. But uh, don't worry much about it though. We didn't get to take the capital, but we still have one more thing to do. Yep, we are at the border to kiss Devon and have Here we are. Is that Vandercam's border fleet? From a nearby mountain cliff, we look down at the border. Our job is to slow them down. So how do you want to do it? Simple. We do this. You might even be more gung-ho than the young master. Falcon, follow the kid. The rest of you, stay with your unit, but follow me. Don't fall behind the kid. We're going in too. Bogus incoming. Vector 336. Two groups. About 7 8 machines. Distance 2000. Relate to all ships. Fire at will. Begin the evasive action. But don't let fire support positions collapse. Roger. Flagship to all ships. You are to fire. Roll rapid fire control system. Commence operation. The aerial mine. Predict pattern. Mark 3. How many machines are on air patrol? 
Aviation officer, wait. Come officer, change of orders. Contact Von Hipper. Had the second destroyer squad and approach the enemy flank. Open the fleet side and bait them into entering the Kai Fenzel's main gun's firing arc. Huh? It's stupid. There's no way the flagship's gun can hit speeding gears. Fire control. Gunner at chief. Ready to type three shells. Pull back the deck gunners and prepare to engage Kai Fenzel's main cannon. Annihilate them into pure energy. Admiral, what are you pulling the anti-gear gunners back? Quiet down, aviation officer. Thanks for your valuable opinion, but I am in charge, not you. We'll use our pea shooters and forward his Zen guns. Discussion over. Captain, not too fast. We don't want to leave enemy behind. Your plan will never work. Ah, uh, there's a bit of uh, dissension among your ranks. No matter, I have some little mini game. Aim for the flagship heading west. Don't engage the destroyer. I'll pull back off and help out. Now we gotta fight. In a way. You have to do some battles in between. They're pretty easy. Against these uh, robots. We seem like they always have like spasms. Pretty easy to beat them. The sand troopers. Our speeds were slow though because uh, speed reduced in the desert unless you have these um, things that increase the speed in the desert. I think that Bart has. I don't think you have it ready, so uh, that's fine though. Pretty useful one if you have though. Maybe I have? Let's see. Here. Um, we don't have it. Okay. That's fine though, we don't need it. Like, it could have been nice. Let's avoid the mines as well, though, because the mines can be a bit dangerous. Get away from the destroyer, I'm going to use reactive shots. We blast that thing down at least, that's good, we broke the fleet. That moron, Hipper. Pursue them, you're just playing with him. You're not good enough to be my dog. Our ability is too different. Fire control. Gunnery chief. He doesn't fire a shot yet. Range for type 3 is within 500. Don't fire till you see the whites of their eyes. Here's the bell speed can move at 2,000 per hour. This whole ship. All of you are morons. You're the biggest moron. Black enemy gear inside units. Stick to your escort. Well, more mini game fun. Just past his line of ships, the flagship can fencil. Yep. Again, avoid those mines. Don't worry about the rest. The enemy's uh, gear is something easy to deal with. You even have this dog gear in it. It's pretty cool. You can with first. Ah, oh, you can stand up as well. Troopers still laugh at the damage. If they even hit that is. Gigafoot though is the biggest issue. Whoa! Okay, that one hurts slightly. And the trooper is just more like a bogus. But they had uh, Gigafoot is more annoying. It's just, this one is so annoying. A little bit. Well. And we're past the uh, fleet. Alright, Dodge the Escort. Sheep's in front of you is the can fence. There's the main ship. There's a big cannon. Fire control! Gunnery! What are you doing? 
You're not even close! Are you blind? Destroy lighters, engine is down. Flash in the from Livy, Livy, run the route, run the route, end! Three remaining allies. Idiotic, idiotic! What is this mess? Enemy gear above! Enemy gear dying from above! Go down, damn it! Or Ramses will have my hide! And now I'm gonna engage the cannon onto the ship. Small guns do a little damage, don't worry more about it. You can take it down if you want to, but in my opinion, just focus on the main gun. If you want a boost drop, do be my guest, but don't really need to. There's damage to be done. Let's just speed up as well. We can charge up, but don't worry much about it. Just uh, focus on the big gun. Sun. We'll take some damage, that's fine. Okay, first I'm gonna hit 416. So it's some damage, but it's still laughable. And there we go. Took some damage, but it's not too much to worry about. All personnel, evacuate! All personnel, evacuate! Abandon ship! Repeat! Everyone! Admiral! Get him. Right. I still have that. I still have that. Yes. I still have that. I still have that. Yes. I still have that. Yes! One for our side. Yeah. And it's all due to your support. Thanks. Stop the border guards? Huh. We destroyed them! Well, we've done our job. I hope the others do okay. Barney's team... is probably okay. Any word from them? Nothing. They say no news is good news, I guess. My gear doesn't have very good comm equipment. They probably did fine though. And yeah. Here is the real deal. Hmm? What's wrong? Yep. On the remains of the Kefensel is a very huge gear. comes the real boss battle with this freak. I will kill you! Well, you might, but not in this episode because we're running out of time. I mean, we could do this on in this episode, but there's gonna be a lot of cutscenes after this boss battle with some plot twists, so... I have to say this one for next episode, but don't worry guys, next episode we're gonna fight one the common is Big Gear. Then, with some cool things happening, we will advance the story to quite a different place. But don't worry, you will understand when we get there. So next episode is gonna be quite fun. Like, comment, and subscribe, follow me on social media, that's good for now. See you guys next time as my journey in Xenogears continues.